Hello everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this moon key resin piece. And what's special about this piece is that it's UV reactive. So what that means is that if you wear this piece and it comes in contact with the sun, or if you use a UV light, it'll change colors. So stick around, I hope you enjoy, and without further ado, these are the materials that you're going to need for this project. I also want to note that a majority of the items I am using in this project were sent to me by Miniature Suite. Miniature Suite is hands down one of my favorite craft supply shops. So thank you so much for helping me with this video, Miniature Suite, and I will leave the links to all the specific items that I use in this video in the description. So for this project, you are going to need some kind of tape. I'm using packing tape. You will also need this small crescent moon mold, which I got from Miniature Suite, and again, the links will be in the description to get these items. You will also need this circle key hollowed out bezel. This is optional, but if you would like to color your piece, then you are going to need resin pigments. These are from Miniature Suite, and I actually only ended up using the white one, and I used a blue one instead of the pink, so that way when the UV pigment shifted, it would look more like it was going from day to night. And of course, you are going to need UV pigmented powder. This is again from Miniature Suite, and what this powder does is that it reacts with the sun or with some other kind of UV light to change color. And the one I'm using goes from white to dark purple. However, you can get these in a bunch of different colors, so make sure to check that out and just go with whatever your preference is. And the last thing you're going to need for this project is whatever you choose to decorate your bezel with. I'm going to be using these like transparent hexagonal glitters as well as these hollow stars. So to begin this project, you're just going to have to start out with making the moon first. So for this you're just going to need clear resin and I'm going to be adding white pigment to it and you can make this whatever color you want, this is just what I'm doing. And this miniature sweet pigment is actually quite sheer, but that works for this project because I kind of wanted more of a milky consistency. So I'm just adding the pigment and then stirring it in completely, and I'm also adding a little bit of glitter. And you can also totally use UV resin for this entire project. I'm using 24 hour cast and craft resin because that's what I'm used to, but both would work totally fine. And once you have your resin all mixed, you're just going to add a very, very thin layer into the moon. You don't want it to be too thick just so it can lay flat in the bezel without overflowing too much so you can dome it well. And then you just wait until that's cured and then you pop it out and you should have a moon that's about this thickness. So once your moon is completely cured, we can move on to the actual key bezel. And the first step when working with any hollow bezel is to secure it to a piece of tape. And I'm running a popsicle stick around the edges to make sure it's very secure so no resin leaks out. So next you're going to make another batch of just clear resin and add your UV pigment. So I'm just using a very small amount of this pigment. You really don't need very much for it to react. And you're just going to mix it completely, making sure there are no lumps. And once that's completely mixed, you're going to notice it's kind of like a milky clear color. And if you want, you can go in and add whatever color pigment you like. I'm going to be using this blue pigment. And this pigment is so, so vibrant, and you only need a very, very small amount. So I'm just adding it in little dots until I'm satisfied with the color. So once that's completely mixed, you can add a tiny bit, just like a couple of dots, to the bezel. And I also want to note that for the best results, you should keep whatever resin you've added the UV pigment to transparent. This way more of the UV light can get to the pigment and you'll have a much more vibrant reaction. So I'm just spreading out that base layer of resin and then I'm going back with a lighter and removing any air bubbles. And now that that layer is all finished, we can go in and add our moon and I'm just gently placing mine in with tweezers and moving it around until I'm happy with the placement. Then I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more blue pigment just so that it's more level with the thickness of the moon. And again, just removing the bubbles with a lighter, and then I'm also adding a little bit of translucent glitter, and then I'm going to let this cure completely again before I add my doming layer. And once it's all cured, you're just going to remove the tape slowly from the piece, and then you can go ahead and dome it. And you're just going to dome this piece like you would any other piece. Normally when I dome pieces, I put them on top of flipped over silicone molds, just to make cleanup easier in case I make any mistakes. And for this piece, instead of completely doming it and then adding my embellishments, I'm going in with just a thin layer of resin, adding all of my glitter and embellishments, and then going in with more resin to make a nice even dome. 
I just find it a lot easier to add pieces before doming it completely just to make sure they're completely covered in resin. Also this way I don't have to worry about accidentally making the piece overflow or messing up the dome while adding the embellishments. So for the last time I'm going in with a lighter and removing the bubbles and then once it's completely cured it's all done. And as you can see I just went in and added a little bow and gold chain and I'm using my UV light to demonstrate how well the color changes. I love how it goes from just pastel clear, kind of like a dreamy milky blue, to a really dark rich purple. It really gives me the kind of like daytime to nighttime effect I was going for in this piece. So if you're interested in making this for yourself, make sure to check out the description. I have links to all the items. And again, thank you to Miniature Suite, and also thank you so so much for watching. Bye!